thank you to everybody who joined me for the first part of this series and especially to those who subscribe to this channel. That was very encouraging and I'll do my best to keep this channel regular uh, with plenty of interesting content. Now if you missed the previous episode then please pause the video and go and take a look. There's a link below in the description but otherwise let's continue with this build. And we'll start with making a knob for operating the screw arbor which raises and lowers the bridge. I'm going to turn this from some brass stock.
And now we come to one of the most important parts of the build, the bush which holds the Horatech tool. Now the dimensions of this part will need to be quite accurate. Now first it needs to fit the hole in the bridge loose enough so that it can have free up and down movement, but it cannot have any side to side movement. This is because we don't want the Horatech tool to wobble around or be unstable as we operate it. Now this is the whole point of the project. Now this is actually my second attempt due to a small mistake when boring the hole for this to fit into. I made that hole perhaps a tenth of a millimetre too large and the wobble was really quite noticeable. And a Horatech tool is 8mm in diameter, so I need to get this hole as close as possible, but it will be secured with a set screw, so it's effectively making the bush a part of or, or an extension of the Horatech tool.
And a bush also needs a keyway cut into it in order to prevent rotational movement. Uh, because the Horatech tool is secured to the bush, this will prevent the tool from spinning around as it's being operated. And it also prevents the bush, and by extension the Horatech tool, from being removed from the bridge without loosening its set screw. Now when test fitting the bush on the Horatech tool, I found a problem. It fits perfectly on one end, but on the other end it snags up and gets jammed. Now it's not a huge problem, but I would rather the bush be easy to remove should I want to. Now I've determined that the issue is with the Horatech tool. It's not a constant eight millimeters all along its length. So I'm going to carefully file and sand it down until I get the fit that I want. It was a lot of testing until I found the sweet spot, but I did eventually reach the goal. So here I am boring out the hole for the bush, and unfortunately I messed it up. The hole was actually too loose and I had to remake the bush accordingly, but it was worth it I mean, to make this tool as stable as possible to use. Now I can make the bridge design a little bit better so that the movements placed under it will be easier to see. I could have done this on the bandsaw, but well, where's the fun in that? 